for Jose Guzman. It is 8.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, January 31st, 2018. And this is the console in question. And please excuse the clutter on my desk, but I'm literally in the midst of building uh, three other RGHs at the same time. And as you can see, um, it's a Jasper 1.2 uh, RGH with a Cool Runner Rev C installed, and it's Instaboot as you just saw me click it and immediately turned on uh, instead of having to wait 5, 10, 15 seconds for it to catch properly. And this is the console itself. As you can see up there, it has a 490, well, 450.9 um, threshold means it is a 500 gigabyte hard drive it's just the operating system and so on take up that other amount of space okay as for the games we have Assassin's Creed 2 Bayonetta I'll just scroll through so you can look at them And we also have Xbox Live Arcade games. There's 74 of them on here. Um, I'm really not going to go through each one of them because it's just going to be too time consuming, but they all do work. They are all, while all of my hard drives are built from my original 360 that's RGH'd. And we have here all of your homebrew. Comes with Freestyle, Dash Launch, uh, Simple 360, uh, NAND Flasher, the shortcut to the 360 dashboard. Uh, XEX menu and XM360. Pretty sure I didn't load any classic Xbox on here. I did not. And then you have your emulators, which is full North American libraries of Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, and FBA Next, which has uh, over 3,000 retro and arcade games built into it and one front end. It's kind of like Final... well, it's, it actually is Final Burn Alpha, but it's like MAME. And let's just go ahead and show you that in some games while this work. And we're just going to do a random. Life for Dead 2 it is. And as you can see, loaded right up. And going right into it. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and... Oh, okay, so yeah, this was one from a previous batch where I do have the Stealth Server uh, XB Online installed on it. Uh, this was back when they were in free mode. They are no longer free, which is terrible because they originally were for, like... The better part of eight months uh, so I was installing them on all of my consoles but they are paid I can either leave it on or remove it your choice yeah, loading up black ops 2 <coughs> excuse me Blah blah blah. And we're gonna have to go ahead and set all this up. And another little added bonus that isn't really put in the listing with the exception of one of the consoles. These do come with um, mod menus loaded into them. Um, this particular model has uh, Jiggy 4.2 for multiplayer, as well as Phoenix V5 for zombies, both of which are host menus. And we're just going to go ahead and start this up, and I'll pull up the mod menu just to show you.
blah, 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 blah. And there we go. Just a little more difficult to do with one hand. But uh, let's do main mods. And we'll just go ahead and do quick mods and watch all this stuff change on the side there. And now, as you can see... Uh, low battery, no. As you can see... Mod menus are working as I'm not burning a single bullet. Let's see what other fun stuff do we have here. Uh, let's do three times speed. Alright, well you get the general idea of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, uh, so if you have any other questions about the console, feel free to ask. And thank you for considering PQ Customs Mod Jobs for your RGH needs.